So yeah, the the official diagnosis is done by Rotterdam criteria, which says that either uh, two of the three factors should be present. So the diagnosis is based on the basis of symptoms either. So patients should have either the symptoms or on the basis of blood tests. So we do some hormones like FSH, LH, prolactin, uh, estrogen levels. So if some of them are deranged and hormonal imbalance is there, then that could lead us to think about polycystic ovaries and then imaging modalities, pelvic ultrasound scan. So there's a typical appearance of uh, ovaries uh, on ultrasound scan. We call it polycystic appearance uh, where there are tiny sacs which are two to eight millimeter, and there are more than 10 sacs in each ovary, and the volume of the ovary becomes more more than normal because it contains a bit thick tissue in between the follicles, which secretes um, testosterone, male hormone. So ovarian volume is increased. There are multiple tiny sacs of a typical size within the ovary. So this gives a typical ultrasound appearance of polycystic ovary. So any two of these, either symptoms or blood or ultrasound criteria, any two of these three uh, are there, then patient fulfills the criteria for a diagnosis of PCOS.